I actually started competing when I was 17 and did my first show, but before that, um, I was never really into fitness. I was always overweight as a kid, and I think it kind of, you know, I think it got to my head a lot because kids were mean, kids were assholes, and I always wanted to, you know, be like my friends and look thin like my friends, and it became, you know, food was like an outlet. I think I went through a lot as a kid, and I had a rough childhood, just divorce, you know, a lot of arguments, marriages, things like that between parents, and. It, food was like an outlet for me. So I got up to like 185 when I was a freshman in high school and I was just super upset with myself. And it was almost like a retaliation thing for my parents because you know they would tell me like, you're gaining weight, you're gaining weight. And it was almost like a fuck you in your face, I'm gonna keep eating. Um, so after a while, when I was like a freshman in high school, I decided like this was not okay. I didn't wanna you know, ruin myself anymore and I was just over it. So. I decided to take the initiative and go away to a fat camp, if you'll call it. Um, and I went to Florida for the whole summer I spent there. And I lost about 25 pounds, 30 pounds. And when I came home, um, I just promised myself like I did not want to put it back on. Um, so I followed up with a trainer. I did everything I could to keep it off. I lost more weight. And then pretty soon, I was in really good shape. Like I was definitely in the best shape out of any of my friends or people in school. Uh, so, you know, I never wanted to compete though. That was not my thing. Um, I was, you know, told by a few gym friends, like, oh, you should do a competition or you should do a show. And I was like, nah, it's not for me. Um, so eventually it was kind of almost like a retaliation thing. I decided I, I wanted to, I wanted to do it. I wanted to give it a, a try. So my first show I started preparing for when I was 17 and it was really small. It was in Michigan and um, by the time I got show ready, I was in really good shape and I ended up winning that show. It wasn't a big show or anything, but I decided, you know, four weeks later, I wanted to do another one. And that was a bigger one. That was the, they used to call it the Chicago Iron Man. Um, now I think it's got a different name, the Gladiator. Uh, so I ended up doing that show and I placed runner up. And for a 17 year old, there was no teen division at that time. So it was a pretty big deal. Like I, I felt like, okay, maybe I've got some kind of potential in this sport. So after that, um, I started to notice my body was taking a bad rebound. Um, I had a coach in the beginning who was only a personal trainer who was getting me ready for a show, which is not a good idea because now that I look back, he clearly did not know how to prepare, especially a kid, but a woman um, to do you know these kind of shows and do them right and do them healthy. So I ended up ruining my entire thyroid, my metabolism. Um, I was gaining weight rapidly and I was not eating bad. Um, it was just one of those things, you know, when I decided to switch coaches and we were gonna get ready for junior nationals, we couldn't get a pound off of my body. Um, it just backfired so bad. So it was really hard because I was giving 120% still and there was no change, there was no result. And I think that, you know, that was the hardest time for me. In, in this sport was because you're giving everything you got and you're not seeing a result. You're not seeing anything. And I know I have tons of women now that are clients that come to me, they have the same issue. And a lot of times it's from somebody else in the past who messed their body up with, you know, super supplements and things like that. Um, women are very gentle. Uh, they have a very sensitive body. So when you throw something, you know, like that into a woman, you gotta be careful because the damages, you know, sometimes can't be reversed. And so that's what I experienced going into, you know, competing very young. Well, I think everything happens for a reason. Um, I do. And I, if I didn't go through that, I don't think that I would have known half the stuff that I know today um, about, you know, the way your body works and women and, you know, hormones and health and all that stuff. So it taught me something that really I would never have learned if I didn't go through it myself. So, you know, it's helped me to help other people now. Um, so after that show, I decided that, you know, I took a long, long off season, about two years because I needed to get my health in check. Eventually I did get my health in check. Um, and then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna 
this is like my second chance. This is like God's giving me another chance to do it again. So I did, I did it again. I did it the right way this time. Um, so I got ready for my first women's physique show. And I wanted to do women's physique because I felt like figure wasn't enough for me to show off what I had accomplished or what I had worked so hard for. I go up there, do quarter turns and walk off. It was like, what am I doing this for? Because I get 30 seconds on stage and I'm not even, I'm next to all these girls. I don't have an opportunity to display what I've worked so hard for. So I was a little bit nervous going into physique because I, you know, I had seen kind of where it was going and these girls are getting bigger and bigger and they're getting more masculine and their faces are looking a little bit, you know, not feminine. And I didn't want to do that to myself. So I made sure that I, I did it smart this time um, and kept my, you know, feminine look and made sure that I bring a muscular feminine package to the stage. And that's exactly what I did. So Kentucky, um, the Kentucky Open was 2017, I believe. And I ended up winning that show, won the overall in physique. And from there, my plan was to go to North Americans and I did. Um, however, when you're, you know, first time in physique, you know, you're taking a whack at it. You can't walk up to these national shows and expect to, you know, wipe it out like a regional show. It's not the same ball game. It's not the same thing, no matter which way you bend it. These girls, no one is coming out of shape. No one is coming there to, you know, just have fun. They're coming there for a pro card. And that's the same reason I was going there. I ended up winning, or I ended up placing 13th, so I really did poorly. Um, but, you know, I told myself it, it was just a trial run. We're going to run it next year. And next year, which was this past year, 2017, I did Nationals in Miami. However, I had a really bad starting point for that show. Um, life happened, if you will. Uh, you know, things happen and, you know, you go through you know, family issues and relationship issues and whatever it may be, and you, you know, let yourself go. And that's unfortunately what I did. I, you know, I am human. So this prep was tough for me. This, you know, last prep, I had to lose about 45 pounds, 50 pounds. And I did it, you know what I mean? I did it in about 22 weeks, um, but I still wasn't where I needed to be. You know, you're going up against girls who are been doing this just as long as you have. They work just as hard as you do and they're bringing their best and you got to bring your best. So my best wasn't good enough. And this year, you know, I had a really good support system um, between my parents, my boyfriend, things like that. My coach is awesome. So, you know, we're getting ready now for the Toronto Pro. Or not Toronto Pro, but it's a Pro-Am. So that will be in June. So I'm sitting at about 15 weeks out right now. Um, but we're starting in a much better position. So right now at 15 weeks, I look about like how I was at nine weeks out of the last show. So we're in a beautiful position to, you know, really make things happen. So I think this year will be interesting. Um, I'm definitely going to bring the best package that I brought. In my opinion, I will be because we're starting at a much better starting point. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to work as hard or I'm not going to get pushed as hard because we already know this is only a reason to push harder, to nail the conditioning. That's always been my issue is conditioning. So if I could bring this shape and this size with the conditioning that I need, I think I'll walk away with it. But, you know, if I told you that I wasn't going to walk away with it, I think I'd be a bad athlete because I think I'd be doubting myself and I don't doubt myself. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I, I'm not nervous. I, I feel very relaxed um, and I'm excited to see what I bring this year to Canada. So it'll be cool because this is the first time that the NPC and the IFBB have allowed us to cross borders. Um, so you can compete internationally now for a pro card, which makes it interesting. And I know there's been a lot of talk about like, oh, well, people are going to go do, you know, international shows to win it, um, you know, faster. The thing is, it's Canada. These girls in Canada come in just as good as the girls in the United States. Um, it's not like you're going to China or Iraq or something to get your pro card. It's, you know, an eight hour drive away. It's not that far. So there's plenty of girls and I know a lot of girls doing it and they're going to be, you know, they're going to be a good group of girls to go up against. So it'll be interesting, but I'm not going to give it anything but my best. So 15 weeks. 
Today we're gonna train back. We're gonna you know go through the motions, and I'll show you kind of how I do things. Um, my training never really changes. I've always trained the same way. This year, the only difference that I've had to make is not training legs so heavy and not even really putting weight on them because in the past I have just have genetically gifted legs and I have killed them and killed them and killed them and they're kind of at like the maximum of where we want them to be so we really don't want them to get any thicker or bigger we just want to get them lean so it's been um, not a lot of leg days happening but today's a back day and that's one of the biggest improvements that I'd like to make is bringing up my lower lats bringing up my back and you know getting the conditioning where it needs to be so 15 weeks out here we go